Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Reese fifth wheel adapter here on our 2022 Ford F-250 Super Duty. So if you recently upgraded your truck but you still have your standard base rail style fifth wheel hitch and you want to be able to use that in your newer truck that has a Ford prep package, here is what you're going to need. This adapter drops right down into your pucks and then provides slots for your fifth wheel hitch to fit in. So a few measurements that people tend to want to know is exactly how high this is going to sit and then also what's the distance between the back of this to the front of our bed. So right now I'll give you that measurement from the outer edge of the back part of our adapter up to the bed. It's going to be roughly 25 inches and then for the actual height from the bed up to the top of our adapter here is going to be three and a quarter inches and what that's going to do is add on some additional height to your hitch so you're going to need to take that into account whenever you're setting the hitch head height so as far as installation goes this is going to be a super easy install that you can easily do at home it's not going to require any extra tools as it's going to come with a wrench to help you tighten down your jam nut and just dropping it straight up into your puck system inside of your truck so like i said super simple to do you can easily do it at home. So to begin our installation, we're gonna to have to first put in our feet onto our adapter rail. To do that, your kit is gonna come with two packs. In each pack, there's gonna be two handles, a wrench, your anchor bushings, your T-pins, two jam nuts, end caps for the sides of your rails, and then also some pins that are gonna hold your handles in place. So to begin, we are going to first stick on our anchor bushing. It's only going to go one way because each side of this is flat. So we'll slide that in. We're going to put on our jam nut and we'll tighten that down. And we're going to keep tightening this down until there's no play in it. You don't want to be able to move that. So like right now I have play. And if you need to, if it's getting too tight by hand, you can go ahead and start using the wrench. But once we have that play all gone, we're gonna go ahead and turn this one more quarter turn. And then we can move on to our next one. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our T-pin and our handle. We'll place our T-pin up through our bushing and then we're just gonna thread that into our handle and the way you wanna position your handle so that the locking side is going to be coming out away from the center of the truck so i'll start getting that threaded in so we're going to go ahead and we'll just get this hand tight and actually we lined up perfectly because we're going to be sticking one of our locking pins through the castle nut here and there's a hole inside of our t-pin and we're going to stick that right through that if it didn't line up for you perfectly, you would just back off that T-pin just a little bit to get it in there. We'll go ahead, we'll stick our pin in, and that's gonna prevent our handle from being able to come off. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our other side here. So right here, I got this one tight, just hand tight, and as you can see, we don't have our hole there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna back it up just enough to where we have that hole for our locking pin to go through. And then we can go ahead and push our handle through. And if you already had this in your truck, you'd wanna go ahead and put your locking pin on like that. And that's gonna keep your handles from moving around. Last step is gonna be taking these two caps that you're gonna have and just popping them into place. And once you have that done, we can repeat the same process over on the other side. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the bed of the truck. I'm gonna pull my pin and I'm gonna pull my handles facing towards the center of our adapter here. That's gonna have our feet lining up perfectly so that they can drop right down in the puck system. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll set our pucks in. So as you can see, 
Uh, we had to do a little bit of minor adjustment. I can only get this handle in right now because I dropped our T-pin down just a little bit. So this is gonna vary depending on your truck. Not every single one's gonna fit just perfectly with how we tighten it to begin with. So here's where you're gonna have to do a little bit of modification. Uh, we're gonna pull this back up and we'll keep loosening up our T-pin. So we'll put it back in the closed position so that we can get our lock pin out. And then we'll just keep loosening that up until we get it just enough to match up with our puck. So I've loosened up my T-nut enough to get my handles to easily slide in and out and our pucks. The main thing here is that you don't want to loosen it too much. You shouldn't have any play with it. So when I'm trying to pull on this, I'm not getting any jiggle at all between the adapter and the puck. So we know we got it set to the right thing. So I'm gonna move over to the other side and loosen those up a bit so that we can get our handles locked. Now with our handles in place and locked with our pucks, we're gonna go ahead and throw our locking pin in. We'll just slide that through and push down our ring. And that's gonna prevent our handles from being able to pull out and loosen out of the pucks. So now with our handles locked in place, we can go ahead and throw on our fifth wheel hitch that fits ISR rails. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Reese fifth wheel adapter here on our 2022 Ford F-250 Super Duty. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.